Fairfield, part of Route 201, had to be closed this morning due to flooding. Katie Sharp is in Fairfield getting a look at the damage. Katie, what can you tell us? Down here, the water has been rising. So, mentioning the Kennebec River, the Kennebec River just behind me has already been spreading into this community. Um, about a few hours ago, the, the Fairfield Police was actually asking for a voluntary evacuation for communities around here, warning folks that their homes may very well be underwater in just hours. And so, um, they actually, there's a community that's right behind me, um, a neighborhood that was especially at risk. And I was actually told by a resident that everyone was able to get out. Everyone was able to get out of the neighborhood. I think the police were just pulled in at just the right minute where they had to rescue one more resident and another dog or two. So it looks like that, that neighborhood has been cleared out. But as you see, the water around here, I mean, Will and I have actually been seeing all sorts of things flowing in the, in the water today. We've been here for about an hour. And honestly, where these cars are passing is about where we parked. And you can see that if I were to walk over there, I probably would be about it, up to my knees in water where I had parked the car just an hour ago. So I've, I've actually been moving the car from place to place, and the water is just rising. Now, they're probably going to pass this route. This part of Route um, 201 is probably going to be closed at some point, too. We're waiting at one point, and you can just see the splashing going on. So the water is, is rising at an exponential rate. And folks, when we're actually in front of one home, that they cleared everything out, put it into their boat, and essentially towed everything out as much as they possibly can. And they're still pulling things out of their home to save those belongings.